Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. I'm from the Black Business School, and I want to give you five ways that you were trained uh, to be an economic slave and you didn't even know it. Uh, they won't pay you reparations for slavery, but they have always been giving you preparations for slavery since you were a child. So let me explain five ways that you were made into a slave and you had no idea this was going on. Uh, number one, student loan debt. Student loans are uh, a farce. They're a lie. Uh, they have crippled millions of people. The average black college graduate, half of them simply cannot repay their student loans. So uh, anybody who tells you that the first way to <laughs> obtain economic freedom is to go $100,000 in debt to get a $50,000 a year job probably can't do math. And uh, I say this as a college professor who's taught college students for almost three decades. So I can just tell you that the price is way too high. So it doesn't mean you shouldn't go to college. It just means you have to watch out for the student loans. Number two, uh, you were taught to be a renter. A lot of you thought that renting an apartment was a status symbol. It's not. Or if it is a status symbol, it's a, it basically states your status as an economic slave because if you add up all the money that you're paying in rent over a 20, 30 year period, you have basically bought your landlord a house, not a regular house. You bought them a mansion. So keep that in mind every month when you keep paying rent for an amount of money that's probably more than the amount you would have paid in a mortgage. Number two, number three, uh, consumerism. Consumerism is marketed to you since, since you were a child. Uh, it is uh, ingrained in the media. It is something you're trained to do from the time you're born. And excessive consumerism, credit card debt, all that stuff, that's all planned. Uh, they strategize on how to do that, and they're very good at it. And that's why most Americans are deep in debt and getting their butts kicked. While rich people keep getting richer because they're the ones who are smart enough to get on the other side of that process. Uh, number four, I, working for other people. If you look at most state universities, most state universities train you to go work for a company, work for a corporation. The elite universities don't teach you just how to go work for a corporation. They teach you how to run the corporation. They teach you how to fund the business so you can run the business. And that elitism has been in existence pretty much for the entire history of the, <laughs> of the feudal economic system going back a thousand years. Uh, number five is the fact that they never trained you on financial literacy in school. They taught you everything on, on the face of the earth from uh, every stuff about European peasants to how to worship George Washington to learning that Billy can have two daddies and two mommies. But they never taught you how to uh, balance checkbook, how to make money how to get ahead financially. So your educational system, your whole educational process, unfortunately, was a little bit of a lie. So that's it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Uh, visit theblackbusinessschool.com if you want to learn more about economic intelligence. We care about you. We care about the black community. We care about black wealth. And that is the uh, our reason for existence. Take care, guys. Have a good day.